Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how to make this scarf and I admit it's actually quite beautiful. I love all the details in it and I hated every part of making it. You can follow this tutorial even if you're a beginner. I will go forward very slowly so you can see each and every stupid step of the way. The materials for this scarf, I used this stupid yarn. It's an acrylic, it's really thin, but it's very soft. I don't know the brand of it. I used this crochet hook size four millimeter for the scarf and I used a six millimeter for the tassels. You'll need some scissors and a tapestry needle. Stick along to the end of the video where I will show you how to do the tassels and I will reveal if I finished the scarf or not. For this scarf we start by chaining up 30. So we make a loop, take the yarn under the loop and grab the yarn from the middle and pull. Don't pull too much, it has to be able to slide around on the needle. And then we make our first chain, we yarn over and pull through. That's one chain. We yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. So for this scarf we make 30 chains. Be careful not to do this too tightly. You have to have a, a pretty loose chain or else the, the end of the scarf will get uneven and and it'll bend. I don't know if you know what I mean, but it's not really nice to look at. It looks homemade, <laughs> I know it is, but in a bad way. So, just count. Twenty-four, twenty-five, and thirty. Hope you're with me. So for this pattern, when we reach the um, the amount that we want the scarf. We make an additional two chains. So, like before, we yarn over and pull through two times. Now we make a row of double crochets. So when we do a double crochet, we work in the third loop. So this is the first. The one of the on the needle doesn't count. So one, two, three. This is the third. We yarn over, insert the needle in the third loop, we yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. This is a double crochet. So again, we yarn over, going into the next loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And again, yarn over, insert the needle in the next loop, yarn over, pull through one, Yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So here we have three double crochets on the needle. This one doesn't count. So again, we yarn over, inserting the needle in the next one, yarn over, go through one, 
yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. I will be showing you one more and then we meet up in the end. We yarn over, insert the needle in the next loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. All right, so we make it to the end and then you count your stitches and see if you have the 30 you chained up or the number you choose to turn chain up. So now I chained up 28, oh sorry, I made 28 uh, double crochets with only two to go. So I yarn over, insert the needle, pull through one, pull through two, pull through two, and I just want to show you what you do in the end. You see there's only one chain left. This one was the slip knot you did. It doesn't count as a chain. So this this is the last chain you have. So you do like before, you chain over, insert the needle, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So now we have 30. Now we start by making the scarf unique. When we turn, we chain up two. We chain up two every time we turn. And we turn the work. So now we start by making front post double crochet and back post double crochet. A post double crochet means that you work in the post from the pre previous row. So this is all the double crochets we did before and this is what we work in now. Usually we work in the stitches on top but now we work in the double crochets. And it's a front post double crochet so when we do a normal double crochet we yarn over and then we go grab the first double crochet from the pre previous row and we work in front of the work so it's a front post double crochet we yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two and yarn over, pull through two. So this was the first front post double crochet. Now we're doing a back post double crochet. So we work in the next double crochet from the previous row. We yarn over and then we grab the double crochet behind the work. So when we turn it, it's behind. So we yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So you see, this one lies in front of the work, and this one lies behind. It gets more obvious when we do it some more. So now we do a front post double crochet in the next one. So we already did those two. So we work in this one now. So we yarn over. Grab the double crochet in front of the work. We yarn over. Pull through. Yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two 
So this one lies in front of the work as well. And we're doing a back post double crochet. So we just did this one and we're working this one now. We yarn over. We go down and grab the double crochet behind. So it lies over the needle from the back side of the work. We yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And we're working a front post. We yarn over. Just did this one, so we're going in this one. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Oh, I lost it. Sorry, we do it again. We yarn over, going in from the front, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over, pull through two. So now we start seeing a pattern. Now we're doing a back post. We yarn over, going in from the back. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So you're always doing the opposite of what you just did. I'll be showing you one more front post double crochet. We yarn over. Grabbing the double crochet from the previous row, we yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And the last back post, yarn over, grabbing it behind the work, yarn over, pull through, oh I just lost it, like this, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. You continue that, the rest of the row, the row, sorry. Now you're doing a front post and then a back post and so on. I will meet you when I'm almost done. Now I made almost an entire row with only two to go. So now I'm doing a back post. And at last a front post. Now we're gonna turn the work. So we chain two, like we always do when we turn. Turn the work. And now we do exactly the same on the other side, just the opposite of what you did in, in every stitch. So you see these that lie in front of the work is your previous back front, uh, sorry, back post double crochets. So these are now your front. And this one lies behind the work. 
So we need to do a front post double crochet here. So we start by making a front post And this one lies in front of the work, so we do a back post there, yarn over, grabbing it behind. See? And this is behind, so we grab it in front. And this one we're doing a back post. See this last in front of, and in this one we're doing a front post. In this one, we do a back post. You start to see a pattern now. So we're doing a front post in this one. So you're all the time you're doing the opposite of what you just did. So this one is a back post now, and this one was a back post before, so you're doing a front post now. And we're doing it all the way to the end, and then I'll be showing you how to turn again. So now I reach the end again, and we're doing the last two stitches. And sometimes in the end it can be pretty difficult to see if this is a front post or a back post. But remember, just look at what you just did. You can clearly see that this is a front post. So now you have to do a back post. A little tree in the beginning. You don't have much to hold on to. It gets easier. So the last one we're doing a front post. And we chain two. And turn the work. You see it's the same on both sides. And now you just keep on working working the same way. You start this one and it's the same as before. If you can't see which one to start it's clearly this is a back post, this is a front post, so this must be a back post, and you need to do a front post to start the row. And then a back post and a front post, and so on. 
keep on working the scarf and make it as long as you want and then we'll meet up when we're satisfied with the length and then I'll show you to do some tassels. Alright? I'm done with the crocheting part and it's actually quite beautiful. I love the looks of it. And now I will show you how to do the tassels. Like these ones. Just grab your yarn and find out how long you want your tassels to be and make it a double so you have a good amount of yarn. Then you keep doing the same length until you think your tassel is big enough. I'm doing five like this one because we are making it double when we are attaching them. So five is enough. So I just cut the yarn and I will show you how to do the other edge because that's the hardest part. Because you want your tassel to hang straight down from the edge and not to be hanging like this. The way to do it right is to, you don't want to do it too close to the edge. If you do it right here, for example, in this gap, the tassel will hang like this. So you want to go in a little further from the edge. So grab your piece of yarn and a bigger needle, a needle that's big enough to hold all the yarn. And we will go in from behind. And take this on the middle in front of your needle and pull it through the scarf pull a bit more so you can fit your fingers through it grab the tail and pull the tail through the through the loop and pull. So now you're tying it up a bit. And you see, you'll just manure it a bit so it will look beautiful. And you see, even though you maybe felt like you did it too far from the edge, it will look proper. It will look very beautiful. So now you have all these ends, but you'll just cut them when you're done making all the other tassels. So they are equally long. I, re I recommend that you do one for every other gap. You see all these little gaps right here in between of the posts. Just do one in every other. So this one will be your next one. And this is what it looks like when we're done with all the tassels. And now for the big revealing. Did I finish or not? And of course I didn't. Oh my god, I think it's the most boring project I ever did. It's, so, it's only this long because I fell asleep so many times. It's a really, really time-consuming con pattern and yeah, nope, I didn't. I would have loved finishing it because I actually think it's quite beautiful, but I don't have the patience. I hope you guys have the patience and subscribe to my channel. I will always give my honest opinion. See you in a week when there's a new tutorial coming up. Bye.